It's just Bruce, he don't bite. <laughs> Hello. Hey folks, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are going to do something that I've never done before. Um, we're gonna play Fallout from the beginning uh, with no mods, uh, Gen X style. What's Gen X style? Gen X style is we're too busy to sit there and go through all the hoops and stuff like that. I'm gonna use the cheats that I've showed you in the previous uh, videos to show you how to make this a lot quicker. It takes an average, I look back at my games, I've beaten this, well, I haven't beaten this game, but I played this game through four times one for each faction without doing any cheats or anything. My average time to get through it was between 27 and 30 hours of gameplay just to get through the game. Uh, not necessarily doing every single side quest, I, I don't think. I think combined I have done all the side quests. Until this new up this new update came in, I, there's a bunch of new ones on that. I've ran into a couple of them. They're pretty neat. But in order to complete the entire Just Fallout, not the DLCs, Just Fallout, to complete the Fallout regular quest and the uh, storyline and any side quests that are in there, they say, and I haven't done this, they say it, it'd take you 159 hours to complete 100% of all the side quests, the plot to, plot quests and whatever, no matter which faction you pick. Thought that was interesting. Well, we're going to see if we can beat that. I don't know if I'm going to have, if I got 30 hours in me to do this. I know the video is not going to be 30 hours. Calm down. I'm going to be skipping through a lot. In fact, you're going to see me taking notes certain things i have a stopwatch running here and i want to make notes on certain times when we do something cool and i'll probably skip through all the other garbage so this might be a two-part video i don't know also depends if people like the first one hell at this point i don't even know if it's going to be a success whether it's going to air so i guess if you're seeing this it must have worked all right let's get going into the game okay well here we go and the first thing i need to do is turn off all my mods so i already had some running uh just to do this real quick Oh wait, first thing I want to do is hit my stopwatch. So now we're going to turn off all our mods. Where are we at here? So I'm going to go to mods. And it's going to take me to the mod store, of course. Uh, we're not going to worry about that. I want my loading order right here. You hit T and this is a PC, so we're going to hit T. <coughs> and I'm turning all these off. See the check mark? I don't want it there. Off. Okay, so I turned everything off. And we're gonna go back, and it's gonna wanna reboot. Okay, the mod selection load other has changed, load order has changed as the game will now reload your data files. Here we go. Okay, now the game has reloaded. We are going to start a brand new one. And I know it takes time to do the uh, whole beginning thing, so I'll probably either fast forward or just skip it all together. Depends how funny I can make it. Uh, this is the title screen and everything. I really don't think we need to watch this. I think it'll let me skip through it. T, skip. Yes, please. I'm sure if you have the game, you've already seen it. It's kind of long and drawn out. So it starts out in the bathroom, and we got to make ourselves look good. I'm going to go ahead and do this. I probably will leave it in here, War but I'm going to fast changes. forward it. You're going to knock him dead. War never changes. Time. I know. Okay. You think? Uh, I don't think I can make him look like me. Hogging the mirror. Right. Let's have a garden gnome or Santa Claus in here somewhere. All right. Uh, hmm. I'm just going to keep the face. I don't feel like screwing around a lot on this. Uh, let's make uh, let's make me more believable. There. I got a little weight on me. Uh, I don't know. That's about right. Good enough. I don't care. So no beard and mustache. Enter done. That's my guy. Confirm my character. Nothing fancy, just get him up there. Alright, now we gotta walk around and do stuff. They don't give you the name thing or anything like that. So right now we're nameless. Where would I go if I was playing this for the first time? That's what I'm trying to do. I would probably oh, good morning, sir. Your coffee. I would well, probably go see this guy. Okay, coffee. Ah, thanks, Kazuo. Of course, sir. I got some coffee. I do like my coffee. I want to turn on the uh, subtitles. 
All right, so I told you. Oh yeah, the one mod, uh, you'll notice her boobies are gigantic. That was another mod where I can modify the models that are already in the game. It, this isn't gonna affect the game, I'm just weird, and that's why that's there. So we're walking around, walking around. If I haven't warned you before, I plan on playing this all night. So you will see me drinking and smoking cigarettes. If you are against that, I'm sorry, but this is me. So yeah, the TV guy's talking. We're done with her. Did you get that? And here it's we go, that you get the vault tech guy. You so you go and you answer the door, you gotta talk to this guy. Good morning. Good Vault morning. Tech calling. All right, best thing to do, you're gonna have to go through this anyway, so just give all the down arrows just to get through it. Good morning. Because honestly, if you're watching this video, you already know what happens. So now you do your special, guys. Don't forget your name. I don't know how many times, even now, I forget to put my name in there. And then I'm like trying to accept it, trying to accept, why isn't it working? Why isn't it working? So I need a funny name. Now, I could use the F word, but because this is a YouTube video, I won't. But if you do use the F word, Cosworth will call you the F word the whole time, which is kind of funny. Uh, there's F word face. Uh, I, th I think F word nugget works, too. But uh, we're going to try and keep it YouTube friendly where we won't get uh, in trouble. So let's do titties. Why not, right? Sure, I could use my own name and it would work. Did you hear that? Fine. My wife says use my real name. So, okay. This ain't going to be any fun. But at least you know a little tidbit. Then you got 21 points available. Now, it doesn't really matter. So we're just going to go right down the line. What is there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 times 3 is 21, yes? No, 9 times 3 is 21. How's 7 times 3? Oh, my God, I'm starting out being so tired. Yeah, 7 times 3 is 21. Don't you hate when you just mess stuff up? So we're going to give me each 3 points. Oh, yeah, you got to hit enter after your name. Enter for the name. Now I can go to this. Three points each. Three points each. Oh, that's four. Now you might be thinking, hey, Bruce, I need strength. I need this. I need that. I need the other. Uh, as soon as this game gets into it, I'm going to show you how to fix that. So I'm just putting three on all of them. I'm sure I skipped through that. If I caught it, I probably fast forward it. So everybody has three points. I got a name there. We're good to go. Oh, I got seven points left. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Wait a minute, there was 21 points. Seven times four is 28. Oh wait, they all had one point to begin with. God, I'm stupid. Anyway, accept. Wonderful. That's and any blah, 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 blah. Bye-bye. Um, See ya. Door slam. Again. Yeah, hey, bye. That's peace of mind. Jerk. That's worth a little paperwork, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. And then, oh look, you pick stuff. There's a Grognak comic. You need that. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Did you hear Codsworth say my name? Most of the names are on there. Why can't I have that? You heard Codsworth. Go on. Let's see if I can say my name again. Hey, you. Hey, Codsworth. Mr. Bruce. If I may, Sean requires your personal attention. A boy leads his father off. All right. I already raised two daughters myself. Do I really have to raise another computer kid? Look how slow he's walking. This is how I walk in real life. You're going to need that later. I wonder what Sean will grow up to be. All right. <laughs> Yes, followed by. And this is where we find out the world's gonna blow up. Sounds of explosions. We're trying to get. You can't skip through this, so it's a good time to grab a beer. To have lost contact with our affiliate stations. All right, get the kid. Let's go. Get the kid. 
And then, of course, you're moving a little faster. Follow your wife. Don't be a jerk and run there without her, because that's just not the right thing to do. And you can't hit nobody. You can't fight people. You just got to play through this, because there's no way around it. Hi there. Can I come in? I got beer. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. We love you too. And now we are in the vault. Push these losers out of your way. Talk to them, they ain't really gonna say much, so just go right through it. But keep in mind, we haven't used any cheats or anything yet. Because we don't need them. This is just the first, like, so many minutes you have to get through, so just get through it. Bubble. Alright, can I have my clothes, please? Uh, thanks. Thank you. What now? Just We're gonna go this way. Oh wait, we gotta follow Doctor right, Numbnuts. Follow me. Okay, well, I, I'm waiting for you. See? You gotta wait on this hole too. Home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. I miss this having the push one function. One of my mods has None a push function. If I go up and someone's you. in my way, it'll just let me push them out of the way. Oh, but like I said, we're doing this with no mods. <laughs> What's up? What am I doing? What? Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Okay. I guess this is mine. All right, okay. activate. E. That's me getting dressed. I see my camera's lagging. It's an external camera this time. And depressurize you but as long as you can hear me, I guess that's all, all that matters. Just I'm only down here to make sure no one else uses this video for their own purposes. Time for a whole new life. So you get to look at my ugly face, neener, neener, neener. Alright, present secure, now we just gotta wait some more. You can't, can't skip through it, wish you could. And of course, this is where they steal the baby. And kill your wife, you know. Kind of like a Disney movie. You can't have an adventure till somebody dies. I mean, look it up. Any other Disney movie? Name one. Bambi. They're all the same. Someone has to die, and then the movie can start. Same with this game. Someone has to. Someone you care about has to die, and then uh, you get to have the adventure. And of course, this is when you come out of the vault. Your first mission starts. It's called Out of Time, Exit Vault 11, or Exit Vault 111. Good place to pause. So, yeah, you're hearing a lot of uh, noise and stuff in the background, people chattering, and computers going off. Uh, the mission is get out of the vault. So you could come over here, look at your dead wife. Hey, how you doing? Come on! There has to be a release! I'm just wasting your time. I mean, you could open it up. It's right over here. Let's do it. Why not? Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! And you're still gonna find out your wife's dead. You can't change this part of the game unless you use a mod. There is a mod where Nora lives. I'll find you. Can't, you can't talk to her. And I'll get shot back. So you get her wedding ring, and I promise. that's the beginning of the game. So now we gotta get out of here. Well, we try to. You could sit down here and read all that happened. And, you know, if you have time, go for it. Just go through, like, the, read the logs. I'm not going to right now. Like I said, I'm just trying to get through this as fast as possible to get into the main game. Searching the desk. Right now, I'm looking for some kind of a weapon, crowbar, anything. And it doesn't look like there's anything here to use. So far, I haven't used any cheats. Going through it fair and square for the moment. 
Don't need any. I really need to find a club or other thing. I thought it was a tire iron. There it is, I think. There it is. That's what I need. And you gotta beat these guys in the head. You don't have vats yet. You don't have any special perks. You're just a, you're just what normal. This water at this point, you can still drink it. It'll rejuvenate your health if you need it. See, I just had a little a little spot down there, but it did it. So, all right, you kill the big gigantic roaches. See this crap here? Don't go through the middle. You get shocked. Go this way. I always wait till it flashes. Like that. Now I can go. Hello. Bye-bye. Where is everyone? He's still trying to figure out what happened. You go in there, you will get electrocuted, unless you time it right. So it's just better to come around the way I did. And go through here. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Okay, next room. This is the overseer's quarters. You activate the overseer. Is this all that's left? dum de dum de dum there's the gun I want. 10 millimeter. Grab it. Grab the uh, grab the uh, ammunition. You're gonna need these. Grab your stim packs. Everything else doesn't matter. I don't know about you, but when I'm watching other people play games and they're zooming around like this, it makes me dizzy as hell. But when I'm playing the game, it doesn't make me very dizzy. All right, so there's nothing in there. Uh, this guy here. It's a good weapon. It won't let you in because I don't have the, the log picking perks yet. Another 10 millimeter. Mine. There's the box. Take that. So I got two 10 millimeters and a bunch of ammo, which isn't too bad. Don't need nothing there. Won't let you in there. That's the cryolator. Pretty good gun. Um, if you bring dog meat back with you, dog meat can actually fetch that for you. Uh, but I never really come back to Vault 111 after I'm done. All right, we're about done in here. We want to open that door now, so I got to use the terminal to do it. And you can read all this stuff to find out what happened. Um, I'm not going to read it right now. Just going to open the evacuation tunnel. Blah 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 blah. Get out of there. Like I said, I said I was going to go Gen X style, which we go fast. Of course, if it's your first time playing, you might want to take the extra time to, to enjoy the game. But when you played it so many times, well, I don't like these guys. Eh, that's my fault. You know, I, I would rather kind of use the club on these things. I just wasted a bunch of ammunition. But I don't think you can switch between weapons until you get your pit boy. I don't think VATS works. Nope, you don't have VATS. Do, do, do. I think I thought there was one more coming to get me. Could be wrong. You can check these bodies if you want. There's really nothing. Is anyone alive? Is Can anybody anyone alive out there? Oh, there he is. I knew there was one more. Bye bye. Have a nice day. Come up here. Get your pit boy. Take it. Now you're getting into what you need to do. Okay, now you got your pit boy. You can see I'm on level one. I've got 84 hit points out of 100. I need to heal myself a little bit, but that's not really that bad. Here's your special points. And now is the time we're going to fix this after I take a short break. Okay, do you remember earlier I told you about when we put in the special points with the vault technician, vault tech guy? Uh, I said, don't even worry about uh, the numbers because we're going to use one of our little console commands to make it life easier because, you know, we're Gen Xers and this is what we do. Uh, and, and like I said, if you haven't played this the whole way through at least once, you might not want to do this. But, you know, 
I played this thing forever, so it's just easier to scoot through this like this. And if you don't like it, well, why are you watching the video? All right, the command is hit your tilde key, which is right next to the one. It's a little wavy looking thing. And notice I haven't used any console commands or cheats at all since we started, because I don't need them. But we're gonna raise all these special levels, and I'm gonna show you how. The command is, I had it here. What for I do, oh, there it is. Player, P-L-A-Y-E-R dot S-E-T-A-V. Player set A-V. And that is gonna change all your special commands, and I'm gonna fast forward through it. I'm just gonna explain the first one. So you type in player dot set A-V, let me double check, make sure I'm right. Yep, I'm right. Uh, the first one is strength, so we're just going to type in strength. S-T-R-E-N-G-T-H. Make sure it's spelled the same as it is up there. It's not case sensitive. You don't got to worry about the caps. And I'm just going to give us all 40 right down. Right down. So I'm going to do this first one and click. And you'll see now strength has 40 points. Same with the next one, but I can hit my up arrow, it gives me the same command, and I'll just go back and change the name. So in this case, perception. Make at 40, which is way higher than you're ever gonna need, but at least you know you have it. And through the rest. And that's all the commands. So I'm going to hit my tilde key again. And boom, you see all my special traits are up to 40. Now, perks. You can hit T for the perk chart or just look at your perks on here. There they are on that. No perks. I don't have any perks at all. Uh, perk chart, just to show you real quick. You see I have my strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, they're all full, but all the rest of them aren't full. None of them have anything because I haven't earned anything. So let's get out of that. How do we get out of this? That tab to close it. Uh, back to data, I guess. Here's your missions out of time. All I got is exit vault 111 right now. Now there's other things I'm going to show you. Just that was the first thing I always do is up my specials. I'm still on level one, I believe. So, okay, so we go over here. You should know this too. Okay, before we get out of the vault, it gives us a chance to change our name again, special attributes, change appearance, um, which my wife went upstairs, so. I could change a special. You know I'm doing it. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Okay, don't do what I just did. Don't go into that menu if you used a special uh, console command before leaving the vault. Ah, that was a mistake. How can I get out of there? This is not good. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and just get rid of all those negative points. That's the only thing I can do at this time, and then I'm going to redo it when I get outside the vault. See, I messed up. Neener, neener, neener. I'm just going to set these along. They're all below 10. Yeah, I see what it did, and I don't like it. <laughs> all right. I still won't accept it. Oh, because this is below. Okay, points available has to be on zero before you can accept it. I get it. All right. Yeah, that was a mistake. Enjoy your return to the surface. I'm going to see if I have a quick save I can go back to. Well, no, I guess that's not going to help. Okay, so we're outside the vault now. And as soon as I get my eyes back, i got to redo the special things because I messed up. So don't do what I did. Yeah, there's, not even, there's not even a point of loading a quick save from before because it's just going to give me the same problem whenever I go to get out. So... So before I do anything else, I want to correct those specials once again. And uh, 
Started Pyromaniac. Right, these are all all Hallow's Eve. These are all things from the new download that the the new update that Fallout 4 did. So they're not mods. They're actual updates from the new additions that they made, and they're all pretty good. But anyway, um, thank God I'm gonna hit my tilde key, and I'm gonna go back and hit each one of those commands again that I hit, and do my special again. So I bring up my pit boy so I can look at it. I'm fast forwarding through this. You've seen me do it. Yeah, see, my, all my specials are terrible now. Okay, as you can see, I'm back to where I was. So remember, do not mess with your special console commands until after you get out of the vault. And now we're going to get out of that. So we're out of the vault. What else can we do? Look around. Sure, I could head right. They, you know, if you want to head straight into the city, you can go there. But I want to go check up here. I think there was something in that trailer that I need. This guy's just in my way. Oh yeah, here, you can pick up your rad X, you need that. Toy car you don't really need. Nuka Cola bottle, Nuka Cola bottle. First aid kit, always get those when you see them. Stem pack, rad X. Like I said, we're not using God mode today. You can hit the button, put the bolt back down. Folder's worthless, all this shit's worthless. You just wanted to get that out of the first aid kit. And now we'll head down to where we need to be. Where am I going? Well, there he is, where's the door? Usually he's in my own house. He's not in our house. He's in a different house. As I live and breathe. Oh, it's, it's really you. And I like to get through this fast too. Everything's dead. My God, they did it. He's screwing around. I like to go back to my own house. This is not our house. Our house is up here, and usually you find Codsworth there. I usually run into him right here. But this was our house. You see, there's the TV, the couch, all that crap. Now we can take the Grodnak the Barbarian. Excellent. This gives you some, uh, it helps you in your melee attacks and stuff like that, so take that. And then just look around. I mean, you see all this crap in here, just junk. Here, you gotta take a leak. Baby crib, and on the floor is your special thing. Now, normally, I would tell you to pick that up and redo your special now, and that's when I put the cheat in. We're not touching it. <laughs> not yet. <coughs> and there's where that nice bed used to be. That's why I showed it to you. Now, up till now, it has taken 25 minutes to get to this point in real time. And uh, so that's how long it takes to get through to the actual game starts. And that's where we're at. So you can see we are at doo -doo -doo, still level one. Action points really low. Hit points 264 or 280. That's level one. Now we're going to do a lot of stuff coming up here now. Without putting ourselves in God mode, which even I think God mode is a complete cheat. I only use God mode when I get it stuck in a tough spot and I try to beat it three or four times. Let's get out of this. We're going to enter. Um, This command, player, set, level, and put it at least 300. Why? Because that'll give you all those perks on the perk chart. If you go any higher, it really doesn't help you. There, it worked. Now you see my XP is adding up, and eventually I'll get the perks to go with it. But my level now, and I'm going to tilt it out of there. Straight out, level 300. My hit points now are 7,007, so you can take a lot of hits. Action points are still 460, and that's to be used in VATs and whatnot. Not really much worried about that. Now, you'll see that um, we're back. Uh, the XPs are going up on your screen. It's like 8,000, something like that. Uh, they're going to keep going because you use the level, the level console command, the level cheat, and they're just going to keep going for a few minutes. You can just continue playing the game while that's up. When that's done, we're going to go get our go to our perk chart. Don't go to your perk chart until those numbers are done ticking up. Like I said, we jumped up to level 300 to make it a little easier on ourselves. And uh, right now, we got to find Codsworth. So I'm going to play through the Codsworth level, 
and uh, hopefully by then the uh, that'll go away and I can show you the next thing I want to show you you're not even in my house just getting your snack, sir. In just a moment. I think he's stuck Codsworth Okay, so what I'm going to show you now has nothing to do with the console commands we were using. Um, this has happened before. It's actually an old school glitch that happened in the very first Fallout. Maybe because I, I'm running a vanilla version. I don't know. Codsworth's stuck in a different house. He can't get out of this corner. And every time I go up to him... Codsworth. Just getting your snack, sir. In just a moment. And this has been going on for quite a while. So he's stuck. He's stuck and can't get out. So we're going to go back to where he's supposed to be, which, like I said, it's supposed to be our house. I'm just going to go out here in the street. Now, this can happen later in the game, too, when you lose your companion. Now, I need him right now to start the next mission. Oh, well, now he's moving. Maybe he'll make it out. Uh, da, 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 da. Here he comes. Okay, well, okay, he got himself out of it, finally. I guess all I had to do was walk out here. But that's what happened. He was stuck. <laughs> Mr. Titties. Mr. Titties. Is amiss. Your loved ones may simply be hiding from the This is where the mission events. starts finally. Mr. Titties, don't worry. <laughs> Mr. Titties. Alright. I want to fast forward through this, but here we go. Okay, now we get to go to Concord need this take a break and we'll do that okay so now we are going supposed to go to Concord and you got to walk there in a the regular game you got to walk there and I'm gonna show you I'll show you this and then uh, I'll show you something different look how slow and I could sprint if I wanted to but to run the whole way to Concord let's check your map run the whole way to Concord you're going from here to here and of course it's not on the map yet because you haven't discovered it we're investigating and we're at sanctuary and of course red rocket is right here so I'm just gonna run the red rocket and show you uh, the difference put that down and we're running and we're running there's my dude Ooh, I look pretty good in blue don't I do, 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 do. I, yeah in real life I don't think I could run this far I'll fast forward through this, but you see the speed I'm going. Okay. Let's stop. Okay, now with that speed, it took me about two minutes to get this far. This is right outside of Sanctuary, in case you didn't know. This is usually where we're running. Oh, there he is. There's dog meat. We haven't met him yet. Let's go meet dog meat real quick. Okay, then. All right, let's so now we got there. dog meat, and that's awesome. And we can fart around here and look around, see what we can find. Uh, I don't know if there's any ammunition. There's a, you, but we'll come back to this later in the game. Like, I'm not going to play the whole game for y'all. It's going to just take too long, I decided. I got a pipe pistol, some wonder glue. Always pick up glue and adhesive when you find it, because you're going to need it later. And, of course, if you know the dog, he goes around and looks for shit all the time, which is pretty awesome. Wish my dog did that for And there's a terminal. We're not going to mess with that. Uh... There, take some caps. You need caps. Oh, that reminds me of something I completely forgot. You need always need caps and bobby pins to start out with. So I'm going to show you how to give yourself a big stash of them right at the beginning so you can pick locks and you don't want to worry about the money. And that command is as follows. And that is um, player dot add item, all one word. And then seven zeros and an F. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, F. And as many as you want. I'm going to give myself a million. Or is that 100,000? 100,000. 100,000 works. And you heard a little tingle, tingle. You got it. Yep, it's cheating. But you know what? We don't have time for this. But more importantly, bottle caps, which is player add item. Seven zeros, A. And then, I don't know, 100. So now I got bottle caps and I got bobby pins for later. You're going to need them. And that's a good thing. So we are still heading to Concord, like I said. And I told you I was going to show you how to get there faster. 
there's two things you can do and what we're gonna do you see where I'm at right there I'm here at Red Rocket truck stop we're coming down here I could walk which is what you're supposed to do but it takes forever and you come across some beasts and stuff along the way um, no big deal uh, you know you shoot him if that's what you want to do but as slow as he and he's running right now as slow as he runs it's it takes up a lot of extra time so what we're gonna do after we kill these guys so okay back to walking you see how slow he runs drop your gun be a good boy there we go all right we're almost at Concord they're actually walking but it's too slow so here's something to speed up your running and I, I said this in the other video, but this is when we actually use it. And that, that command is, it was in front of me. Here it is. Player. Set. AV. Speed Molt. S-P-E-E-D-M-U-L-T. Now, the default on this is 16, I think. No, that's the time. Default on this is 100. 100 is your default. So if you put it up to 300, you're about doubling, tripling, your uh, speed that you're just doing normal normal running and you can turn this back at any time if you don't like it it doesn't mess up the game if you got a lower end computer you don't want to run too fast because you'll crash the game every time it just doesn't have time to load up the environment and you can see I'm running a lot faster now and I'm headed down to Concord where all this crap is Here we are, and this is our first real battle that we're going to have. Now that, okay. Well, let me do this. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and do this level, and then uh, I'm going to show you the other one. Okay, so I went ahead and uh, did the Concord level. There's a Deathclaw I killed around here somewhere. Just making sure there's no raiders alive. Uh, go around, collect your uh, ammunition stuff from all the dead people. Ammunition is very important if you didn't know that. There's uh, there's the wonderful Preston Garvey. I don't want to talk to him. Uh, we're actually heading to Diamond City because that's how you get the mission to go to Diamond City. And that's how they put it on your map for the first time. And that's what this looks like. As you can see, here I am. Uh, Concord Museum of, Museum of Freedom. That's where we are right now. Uh, we've been to Red Rocket. I can fast travel to any of these places we've been at. Uh, here's... That's my mission. I gotta join Preston Garvey. I don't want to. I, I might actually play this game without even dealing with the Minutemen, just so I can just not have him put shit on my map. But if you go all the way down to south, the next mission that I have in here under missions is Jewel of the Commonwealth, which is go to Diamond City. And it's here. It's way down south. Now for me to run there, it's gonna take forever. But because I've never been there before, I go to fast travel, click, Click, click. You have not discovered this place at location marker. No, I want to want to go there, and that's the that's the problem. This is another little shortcut. But in using what I'm about to show you, I'm a, I'm in power armor, by the way. That's what you get on this mission. But of course, it's all janky. It's falling apart. Oh, now a little note about power armor. I haven't used the God command yet in this game, but even if you do, it will not save your power armor. Your power armor will look like mine does right now. I'm going to keep the power armor for a little bit, though. Now, I want to go to Diamond City, but I can't. I could walk down there, and in walking down there and traveling down there with your companion, in this case, it's my dog, it's this far. Let's see if I can, yeah, there. It's pretty far to walk. And, yeah, you'll come in contact with other things and exploring. But if you've already beaten the game like I have, you just want to go through the, the, the plot and then explore afterwards. So, uh, excuse me, I'm hiding the hiccups and they won't go away. So anyway, long story short, if you use this command, let me get out of here. If you use this command, you will see all the places on the map, and you'll be able to fast travel to any of them, whether you've been there before or not. So the command is TMM space 1. All map markers shown. And hit your tilt to get again. And you see now everything is on the map. Every, everything. Everything. I don't know if the hidden ones are on there. I, I think they are. But now there's pros and cons to using this. The the hidden ones, uh, excuse me, the ones that weren't exposed yet, now, sure, I can fast travel to any one of these places. Um, 
it does get a little jumbly. It's hard to you know figure out if you're not sure what you're doing. But you can't take it back. I can turn all markers off, but then it's going to take away all the ones that I've already discovered. So you can't go back if you use this console command. So once you use it, you got to you got to stay with it. And it can get a little jumbly and hard to figure out. Uh, you know, you can zoom in and zoom out and find your places and stuff. Uh, I personally prefer to use it. Now I can fast travel to Diamond City. And uh, I'm trying to click. There's always something wrong. I think my, first of all, I hate using the map in Power Armor. There we go. Now I can fast travel. So, and well, I'm not going to do that right now. Actually, I'm going to stop. Let's go now. I'm going to stop because I think this part of the video has been long enough. I showed you enough. I've been playing for an hour and a half. I don't know what this video got cut down to. Uh, but yeah, hour and a half of real-time gameplay. Gameplay. What have I been playing in the game game time? We'll do it new. Okay, well, we're going to stop here, and I'll go to the outro of this video. And if uh, no, I'll talk to you in the outro. So there's a little bit of gameplay of the basic game. No mods. Uh, showed you a few little helpful console commands that did not use God Mode. God Mode's a thing. I do use God Mode occasionally. Usually I'll go through a level, and it, when I get to a point where I just can't beat the damn thing, uh, TGM God Mode is one of the ones I will use. Uh, but only because I've beaten it four times before. I've been playing it for ten years. I mean, I'm not an expert by any way, shape, or form. There's people out there that game a lot more than I do. Um, I'm just trying to help out Gen X people because I know so many people are just discovering this game. And a lot of them are my age. And I uh, see young people laugh. Oh, old man playing a game. You, 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 don't, you, you never experienced the 80s. You really never experienced the 80s. In the 80s, we were video game gods. And then in the 90s, when the multiplayer online games just started... Uh, I'm specifically talking about Quake because that was the first online game that I played. I don't know if it was the very first online game though, but it was the first one I played. And first person shooters always been my favorite and Quake gives us that. Or, I'm sorry, Fallout gives us that. Quake is how I learn. But um, yeah, but like I said, Gen Xers don't have time to sit there and play 30 hours worth of time running and running and running. So the, the cheats I showed you tonight should make it a little easier um otherwise i've been playing it an hour and a half an hour, one hour and 25 minutes i timed myself uh, actual gameplay and uh we got through what would normally take uh maybe two two and a half hours um showed showed you everything that i wanted to show you tonight um i got more coming but i figured it'd be a good place to cut it uh, showing you the first steps i do when i start a new game just to skip over the bullshit Oh, I swore. Um, yeah, I hope it helps you. I mean, give it a try. Try to beat the game on your own first. I'm always going to say that. You know, don't use the, any cheats at first. Play it at least once. Pick a faction and go through it. It does take a long time. But that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to explore. But after you've played it so many times, nobody wants to go through the intro over and over and over again. And there's no way just to skip it. Uh, the only way to skip the intro, if you know you're going to want to play it again, is to do your intro... You know, you have to do it. It takes, what, fifth, what did I say, 15 minutes, I think. And then as soon as you uh, come out of the vault, as soon as you come out of the vault, create a save game. And then when you want to start over, use that save game as a basis to start over to just start a new game. That way you don't have to go through it a bunch of times. Um, I went through it tonight for you guys. And uh, I, like I said, I stopped at Concord. I, did the, I didn't even video myself doing Concord. I just went through it. Uh, you know, killed the death claw, and I'm like, all right, now is when the game's getting serious. Uh, showed you the, what I do to help myself get started. So I hope it helps you guys. And I, hey, game on. You know, I don't, I don't care. I had a guy the other day, 74 years old, left a comment on one of my videos saying that he still plays and he's playing Fallout 4 and he loves it. And I'm like, good for you, man. That's that's awesome. Because seven, if he's 74, that means he started out when he was a kid playing Pong. Do, do, and I'll bet you that guy nailed it. I'll bet you he was the one to beat, too. And he was there through the 70s and 80s whenever we had to take quarters to the arcades. See, that's, that's you, you young people are never going to understand that. Never going to understand it because you didn't have to go through it. And it was, oh, you're old, you're old. Yes, I'm old. And I'm very proud of what I went through in my childhood. 
So, okay. Uh, if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe, and, and a comment specifically so I know whether to keep doing this or not because these video game things are brand new for me. But because uh, Fallout's been so popular and I know a little bit about it, um, I thought I'd give it a try and do some Fallout videos. So if you're liking them, because according to the other videos, you are liking them, and I appreciate that. So let me know, and uh, if you have any questions, if I can answer them, I'll try. I'm not an expert. I'm just an old guy in a basement playing video games right now. And, yeah. That's about all I have to say. I did have fun for the past hour and a half making this video. Now I have to edit it. Because <laughs> it's not edited at this point. That's going to be a nightmare. Because I videotaped, ev or I recorded every single thing I did. Right, now i got to go through it. It's going to take me about two hours. But I'm doing it for you guys. I hope you appreciate it. Uh, leave me a like, subscribe, questions, you know, comments. Uh, all welcome. All welcome. Uh, trolls will be deleted. Don't even acknowledge them. So, bye! It's just Bruce. He don't bite. <laughs> Hello.